I'm Geoffrey Boycott. I'm going to pick you what I think is Yorkshire's greatest England eleven. Starting with number one, Herbert Sutcliffe. True, great player. His record and performances for Yorkshire and England are just way outstanding, better than anybody. Just a phenomenal temperament, concentration, marvellous player. Myself at two, and three, Len Hutton. But Len Hutton three, because everybody who saw him play tells me he was a truly great player, such a wonderful technique. If one of the three openers had to drop to three, it looks to me, from what everybody says, that Leonard had the best technique of everybody. So I don't put him there because I think Sutcliffe and Boycott are better. I don't. It's because he's probably the greatest technique they all talk about. And when Herbert, Herbert Sutcliffe said, you've got to see this young boy when he was 17, that's how good he's going to be. He's going to be better than me. That's pretty good. Morris Leyland at four. Left-hander, who was a marvellous player for the big occasion. At times, he actually played better for England than Yorkshire. When they were under pressure, Morris was the man to go to. F.S. Jackson, who was a very fine batsman and could bowl in his own right, and one of the great captains. Uh, captain England, five test matches, won the toss five times, won three test matches, lost none became the governor of, uh, in, of uh, Bengal, treasurer of the Conservative Party. He's a truly great man. George Herbert Hurst has to bat at six, one of the two greatest cricketers we've ever had with Wilfred Rhodes. George Herbert Hurst one year got 200 wickets and 2,000 runs. He was said to be, I don't know if it's true, the inventor of left arm over the wicket swing bowling. I mean, things get exaggerated that he said he aimed at cover and it swung to the batsman. I know it's a story, but he was a phenomenal player, full of bounce and energy and just outstanding. You see his performances for Yorkshire when they were in trouble. And with his compatriot Wilfred Rhodes, we've never had anybody like that. Wilfred Rhodes, left arm spin, right arm bat, started batting for England at number 11, finished up opening the innings with Jack Hobbs, the great batsman, in 11 test matches. Still holds the record of the opening partnership for England versus Australia, 300 and some in Melbourne, when he got 100 and Jack did. Just a phenomenal player. His is, his is probably the most difficult position to pick because you've got the great Headley Verity, who very tall, spun the ball, got bounce, and you attempted to put Headley in that maybe was a slightly better wicket-taking bowler than Wilfred Rhodes. But Wilfred was just a wonderful batsman as well. And I'm, I'm picking my side with Jackson, Hurst, Rhodes, can all bat as well. And then there's Wardle, who was a great bowler. You can't get all the left-arm spinners in. I pick Raymond Dillingworth because I want left-arm spin, off-spin. I want variation. The one that can rival that is Bob Appleyard. For the few years he played, unfortunately got TV, he was an absolutely phenomenal player. But again, Illingworth was a good batsman as well. Very good catcher. Fred Truman, outstanding. The greatest fast bowler that ever drew breath. Or Fred says, anyhow. But he had the best action I've ever seen in my life and he truly was great. I played with him. Darren Goff. I picked Darren Goff at his best. Big heart. Bowl for you, uphill, into the wind, because Fred would always have the downhill with the wind, there'd be no doubt about that. But he's just up for the challenge, Darren, smiles, never down for long. And the wicketkeeper, if I'm honest, we haven't really had one wicketkeeper in all our history that's iconic. We've had some good, some are remembered. The one I played with was an excellent keeper, Jimmy Binks, so I'd take him. The captain... F.S. Jackson, without doubt. I know he was an amateur, I don't care. You read about him, the man was a leader in everything he did. And you can make anybody captain, put three stripes on, don't mean anything. It's can you lead people? And I think Jackson was brilliant if you read about him. I'd want my 12th man as David Bairstow, and my 13th man as Graham Stevenson. Stan Stevenson made me laugh every day of my life at cricket. So funny, uplifting for the dressing room 
and David Bairstow was the same, and David Bairstow I don't think was ever down for more than 10, 20 seconds. He's a big pick-me-up in the dressing room, and I'd like to play on uncovered pitches, not covered, because I think my team would take some beating. <laughs>